Welcome to Wax Off. My name is Rabina Reyesat and I'm a hearing aid audiologist. I'll be talking through our earwax removal videos, so let's see some wax. <music> This patient, let's call her Aria Stark. I love the name Aria and this patient has been with me since 2015 and I've been helping her hearing ever since. Aria had been using low coid 1% cream in her ear for itching and pain and you can see the blockage has taken on a white hue because of the cream mixing with the wax inside the ear. She'd also been poking a cotton earbud down the ear, which has created a rounded impression at the top of the screen where the light is reflecting back. There's also another area on the right hand side of the screen where there is a build up of skin with some wax attached as well. Now, because of the discomfort from the skin inflammation causing her to use this cream, I was actually never able to touch her right hand side until this procedure. It was actually even too uncomfortable when I was looking inside the ear. But not today. Aria suddenly stopped using the low coid cream as she didn't feel the itching and discomfort any longer. And now she was getting a stabbing pain and pressure which was running down her jaw and she couldn't lie on this side anymore while she was trying to sleep from the blockage. So we've gone in and removed the bit on the right hand side. There's still some skin remaining there. We're now going to tackle the main part of the blockage. So I'm going in and I've obviously already oiled, but we're very gently tugging away at the side of the wax trying to keep it in one piece and as I'm suctioning you can see that there's some silvery areas there on the edge and that's just keratin layers that are coming away and that's a nice quite large blockage that has come away there. Now I'm going back in because I really want to see what's going on there now and I can see that the eardrum is now partially visible. It's the mother of pearl sort of gray area there. And there's a lot of wax still laying on the actual eardrum. So I've switched the head of the suction probe and I'm using a slim tip on the end which will do a number of things. First of all, it will be more comfortable for Aria as I'm suctioning very close to the eardrum. And secondly, it will also reduce the amount of noise from the suctioning that she will hear. At this point, I've also oiled again. I've put quite a lot of oil in there and that will further protect the eardrum from the noise from the procedure today and I'm having to be super careful because we are so deep in the ear canal there so I'm going to the edge of the wax and very quickly a little piece went into the suction tube there so I'm really really taking my time with this because first of all I want it to be as comfortable as possible for Aria and secondly, we don't want to cause any damage. So we're going in and the area at the middle of the screen is beginning to reveal quite a large amount of wax there. Again, the silvery areas are just the keratin, which is separating the wax from the ear canal skin and we're gently very gently trying to peel away that area now again the oil got in the way there so i had to reposition everything after wiping the endoscope down and now you can see it's ready to come away 
and there's a bit of skin as well moving closer to the entrance of the ear canal and it's all kind of connected and very gently but we've just touched the eardrum there and we've managed to pull it away so that's come out quite nicely but there's still quite a lot remaining there so I'm going to readjust my hands on the equipment and I'm going back in. I'm going to clear up this area here. You'll see that there's a bit of stringiness that's just come away on the end of the suction probe and that's because there is a pimple there and it was revealed underneath the skin that was covering it. So essentially it was a little bit of pus being suctioned away into the tubing. Now our focus is back on the remaining earwax on the eardrum. So because we've removed the layers of wax which were obscuring the view of the wax from the entrance, we can now go in a little bit deeper and I can try in a different area. Now what I've done here is I've very closely to the top of the eardrum, I'm now suctioning the skin layer which has come away a little bit and we're trying to get hold of or leverage the part which is stuck to the whole of the wax but just like with most wax removal videos only a little bit comes out so we have to go back in and we've got to readjust our suction angle. So this is what I'm doing here and a little bit more comes away again. Yes, so a little bit more came away there. So now at this point again I oiled and this was to make it further comfortable for Aria and to see whether we could just lubricate the edge of that wax that's being a little bit tricky and first of all the oil gets sucked up by the end of the um, fine end or slim tip and then you'll see that little bits of it are moving a little more easily because of the lubrication with the oil I've gone back in and tried on the top area there and quite a large amount has come out there so that was uh, quite good and this is the final time that I'm going to go back in with the suction because I've got to be very aware of the fact that the patient is getting tired at this point uh, and we are have almost actually removed all of the blockage so I'm going to try that and that's actually come away quite nicely and that was actually keratin that came away from the surface of the eardrum so here's the final shot of the eardrum and ear canal after the procedure there was part of the procedure I didn't film called irrigation where I used a light steady stream of water to try and dislodge the last bit of earwax on the right side from the eardrum but it didn't want to come away and Aria was super pleased that the pain from the blockage was completely gone and she was able to hear clear already so I stopped the procedure. Thank you so much for watching. Please do like, subscribe and comment. Let me know if you've had earwax removal carried out and how it felt. And also if you've ever used Locoid cream 1% in your ear and what you used it for. And I will see you in the next one.